Today marks the start of Xiao Shu or minor heat. It is that point of summer when the sun beats down with full force during long days, bringing with it reliably regular heat waves, as of the summer for breathing. Thankfully, occasional wind and showers bring some soothing respite from the sweltering heat, and shady corners bring friends together in search of refreshment. Be like quenching their thirst with tea or feeding their minds and souls with good food. 贺达增进之，秘书见招，能赴堂，烹茶二手，其二。宋，曹朴之。一碗分来百月春，玉溪小暑却一人。红尘他日同回首，能赴堂中不作声。This period by the Song Dynasty poet Chao Pu Zhi depicts the scene of him drinking tea with his friend Meng Jingzhi in a place the poets usually go. He tries to convey his longing for companionship and a peaceful life, but two friends seem to lose track of time brewing and taking refreshments from tea. A bowl of green tea during minor heat seems like a refreshing, simple pleasure. In my country,、uh, even though you may think it's always very cold,、exactly. but in fact, during summer the temperature can get really high. To relieve the heat, we love to drink kvass, special fermented rye bread beverage with sweet sour taste, and we also love to eat akroshka. It's like a traditional cold soup with raw vegetables, potatoes, sausages, and we add kvass as a base. Indeed, even though it's blazing hot during minor heat, it certainly has its perks. Feel it, cool yourself off by riverside or enjoying a nice pot of tea in a well-shaded tea house. There are ways to enjoy this time of the year. So, how would you like to spend it? I'd like to spend it somewhere cool in the shadow、uh, with my friends and family, perhaps having a lakeside picnic or tea or a relaxing chat at home. Tea with friends is enough to put anyone in good mood. Exactly, and it's a great way to enjoy a refreshing summer. Sure.